Carry That Weight is the first national day of action to support survivors of sexual and domestic violence. Like what happened to me made sense because it's part of a bigger problem. It was not a private, isolated, personal incident. It's a culture that enables and perpetuates violence at Columbia, at all colleges, in all institutions across this country and around the world. Emma was actually one of the first people that I really told about my assault. And it changed my entire life. I can't tell you how much it means, and you probably won't understand if you're not a survivor yourself. But to have somebody look at you in the eyes and say, your experience matters, it counts. It was not your fault, and you deserve better, it means so much. The demonstration served as an opportunity for student groups to develop concrete steps to confront rape culture on their campuses and to support survivors in their communities. People of all genders, races, classes, and other identities experience sexual and domestic violence. One in five women will be sexually assaulted during their time at college. We must stand together to carry the weight and end this violence. The rally was inspired by a Columbia University visual arts senior, Emma Sokowicz, who was raped on her mattress and decided to carry it everywhere on campus until campus authorities carry out adequate measures towards a rapist and expel him from the school. We as the peers and the allies of survivors do not speak to the different ways that survivors experience violence, then we not only invalidate their, their experiences, but also make obtaining the necessary support for healing that much more difficult. To expect women and survivors of color to put their healing on hold in order to appease the interests of those outside of their communities, namely those who identify as white, is violent in and of itself. We as students must show solidarity among all women. We must help carry the weight of all survivors. Well, I think that Emma Solkowitz started her performance art piece to really uh, challenge the Columbia community to carry the weight of her experience of sexual assault on this campus um, and not only ad admins, not only the administration, but also individual students have been demonstrating um, the fact that they are able to and interested in supporting each other through this difficult time and all the struggles that have been happening around sexual assault on our campus. Um, so different clubs sponsoring the 28 com uh, mattresses, which represent the 28 Title IX complainants, really demonstrate students' commitments to carrying the weight together. The demonstration at Columbia University consisted of a march of 28 mattresses, representing the 28 students who filed a Title IX complaint against Columbia University. More must be done because one in five women experience sexual assaults. More must be done because the majority of these young women do not tell their stories or their assaults to anyone. More must be done because 84% of the perpetrators who commit rape do not even recognize that it's a crime. Yeah. A crime. Hey, hey. 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 Hey, it's fair to make essentialized arguments about gender. I don't think that just because someone is a woman or a man, we can expect for them to feel or react any specific way. I think the problem is largely cultural. Uh, it's really, it's a cultural problem that needs to be eradicated. It's not just a one-on-one -on -one individual thing. At over 130 schools around the world, student groups organize demonstrations like this one. And thousands of people are carrying mattresses to symbolize the burden of sexual violence and domestic violence that survivors will struggle to carry alone no more.